What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. With the Unbroken Crucible seal about to become vaulted at the end of the season, I wanted to go over the requirements for completing and gilding the Unbroken seal during Season of the Risen, along with some tips and methods to get it done before this seal goes away for good. Now before we get started, if you enjoy today's video and find it helpful, a rating below is greatly appreciated and if it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Now obtaining the unbroken seal is not for the faint of heart. It is by far one of the most challenging seals to unlock, but that does not mean that it's impossible. So let's take a look at what you'll need to do to unlock the unbroken seal for yourself in Season of the Risen. Now, the first objective, called Forever Valorous, is to earn 10 total ranks in Crucible. This includes Glory and Valor ranks, along with Iron Banner ranking. Jumping into these activities when double rank is offered will be an immense help towards completing this first requirement. Be sure to grab plenty of bounties from Shax, Lord Salomon, and Saint-14 as completing each of these bounties will reward you with Crucible rank. The next objective, Legendary Valor, requires you to reach Legend rank within Crucible. This again does not have to be done through Survival, but can be done through other Crucible playlists. Legend ranking is obtained at rank 15, or once you've completed rank 15. The next objective, called Prestigious, may pose to be difficult for some to complete. This one requires you to reset your Valor rank three times across multiple seasons. If you're starting this season off at zero, this one's probably going to be pretty time consuming of a requirement for you to do. But if you do have some previous progress, you will need to start hitting the Crucible playlists hard, completing bounties and pretty much just live within Crucible for this last two months of the season. Win streaks will be the quickest way to climb up through ranks, so you may want to consider playing with friends. But if you don't, then freelance options are available for many of the playlist activities. Overall though, you're going to have to reset your Valor rank three times this season if you don't have any previous. Right back at it again goes hand in hand with Prestigious. It requires you to reset your Valor ranks five times in a single season. A daunting task, yes, but still achievable. You'll definitely want to work on bounties along the way. Again, win streaks will be your biggest ally. Unbroken Valor requires you to win five matches in a row to reach the maximum win streak bonus in Crucible. This can be difficult as sometimes it really just boils down to the lobbies. Having a solid team will be the best bet to achieve this one, but for those going at it solo, I would suggest to give Rumble a try as you might find more success and better opportunity to level up your 1v1 skills. Fight for Glory is specifically tied to the Glory playlist. This is Elimination and Survival. You will need to earn 5 Glory ranks in total to unlock this triumph. While freelance matchmaking is available, playing and being able to communicate in a pre-made team is going to yield better odds. Win streaks will be more important here than before. Fabled Warrior is the next objective and ever since Beyond Light was introduced, the way that this one is unlocked has changed because now you can actually purchase the required weapons from the kiosk at the tower. You will need to purchase the Recluse, the Mountaintop, the Revoker, and Luna's Howl. The cost is steep for each of these and does require Ascendant Shards, but when in doubt they can always be purchased from Master Raul. Grandmaster Nightfalls are also about to hit the table for Season of the Risen, so that's going to be a prime opportunity for you to get Ascendant Shards. The next objective requires you to reach the rank of Legend in Glory, meaning you will need to reach rank 16 in Glory by completing Survival and Elimination. It's important to keep in mind that you receive bonus Glory ranks each week for participating in at least 3 matches a week. 
along with bounty completion, win streak bonuses are again the biggest factor here. Losses will impede your progress, so this is where it becomes very important to be able to communicate to your team. A glorious legend could be the most challenging objective for some of you to complete, and if you're coming into Season of the Risen with zero previous legend ranks, well, you unfortunately will not be able to complete this triumph, as it requires you to obtain legend rank in three separate seasons within glory. This is one of the key reasons Bungie has chosen to do away with the Unbroken Seal. For the final objective called Unbroken Glory, it requires you to win five straight matches within the Elimination or Survival playlists. This again is a task better completed within a team, but still achievable by freelance. For those of you who have completed each of these tasks, you'll be able to guild the Unbroken Seal, but Season of the Risen will be the final season that you'll be able to do this. It's important to know that Gilded Triumphs are not retroactive, so you will have to complete each of them this season, even if you completed any of them previously or previously while completing the actual seal. To the Victor is the first objective and requires you to win 60 total Crucible matches. This can be done in Trials, Control, Rumble, Iron Banner, anything. 60 total wins. Mayhem, Momentum Control, and Team Scorched will be the quickest of these activities to complete. Watch Them Fall requires you to defeat 350 Guardians within the Crucible. Assists will count, as will Scorch Cannon Kills. This one really just boils down to time. Farming out any of the playlist activities will get you this triumph completed fairly quickly as long as you're just devoting the time. Unfaltering Glory, this triumph requires you to win 4 straight matches in either Survival or Elimination. You've already had to win 5 straight previously, so what's a 4 streak compared to that? The next objective is Valor Knows Not Defeat. This requires you to win 6 straight matches within the Valor activities, such as Control or Iron Banner. Keep in mind that you have almost 2 months remaining in this season to complete this and all of the other triumphs. So don't let the pressure of having to win 4 or 5 consecutive matches frazzle your brain and throw you off your game. If all else fails, take a break and clear your mind before jumping back in. Valor Unbound will require you to reset your Valor ranks twice this season. I've said it previously, but this is where bounty completions and win streaks will play a significant role in how quickly you're able to progress. The final triumph to complete requires you to defeat 50 guardians with this season's ritual weapon type. This season's ritual weapon is the Reckless Endangerment Shotgun, so you will need to defeat 50 guardians with shotguns this season to complete this final triumph and guild your unbroken seal. Guardians will have until May 24th to unlock and guild the unbroken seal before it becomes vaulted for good. In Bungie's most recent TWAB, it did speak of a new crucible seal that will be released closer to season 19, designed at being a more fair but still challenging crucible seal to acquire. I wish you all the best and luck this season obtaining your own unbroken seals. If you've got any additional tips or tricks to help your fellow guardians out, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And let us know what your thoughts on the unbroken seal being vaulted are. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If so, be sure to hit the like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you some happy hunting.